let's get things moving and try and wrap up quick today. I also have Pike on today, so woo. Okay. <laughs> well, I can go first. Um, I had promised a demo, but I um, haven't actually gotten to it yet. I do have a device on latest, um, and I haven't actually checked to make sure it's gone through all its updates. Uh, I got it set up about an hour ago. Um, so I will get that uh, demo done and upload it, and we can maybe talk about it more tomorrow. But really, my, my goal is just uh, sounds like the news was the only one I should expect any changes on. So I'll, I'll throw some, some extra utterances at the news and see what we see, everything else. Just do a one real basic um, kind of one utterance demo because I'm not really expecting much to change there. Um, but other than that, I'm just like uh, based on a decision we talked about uh, the other, or yesterday um, to change the orientation of Pi to put all the ports towards the back. Um, that's just been my main priority to get that done so Kevin can actually um, get a prototype out before he leaves next week. So almost there, really. I think I'll be able to get it to him late in the morning tomorrow. I'm actually pretty stoked about it. I think it's going to be, be cleaner, nicer altogether. Just got to find a way to keep the USB in place. <laughs> but I've been thinking about that too. That's it for me. Um, can we write up a, uh, like, I know we're going to get to it anyway, but um, while it's on your mind, fresh on your mind, it'd be good to write up the, you know, reasoning behind that because that'll go in the next Mark II update. I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. It's kind of one of these things where, like, I, I'd like to see Kevin get the board layout and stuff a little bit, can make it a little bit more real before we go talk about it too much. Okay. <laughs> just in case, just in case he. So it's a decision that we're going to try and do it, not that we are doing it. Well, we are doing it. And there's almost <laughs> no reason it's not going to work. But um, again, still, I like to. <laughs> But I'll work on it next week. How about that? Because by then we should have at least uh, something back from Kevin. To... Yeah, yeah. Well, and the updates doesn't doesn't go out until like the fifteenth or something like that. It was more like, okay. you know, if you're already thinking about why we're making this decision and what the you're you're in that headspace, and I thought it might be yeah, quicker yeah. to do I it now. Get some notes down on it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you're done and I'm talking. Done. Uh, I, um, I did some upstream fixes for the, um, for the, uh, packages that were broken. So we merged some patched versions. Um, well, we, we changed the requirements file to point to patch versions so that they'll, they'll start working. Um, if you care about the details, go and check the PR. Um, but it looks like the, the official versions will get updated pretty quickly. So that'll be good. Um, uh, everything is humming along pretty well, except for one timer skill, um, VK test. Um, but it's only failing, you know, maybe like 25% of the time or less. So, uh, it's meant that I've been able to get a whole bunch of stuff, um, passing and stuff, which has been good. Uh, I think... Um, I know that it's it's not a priority for us, but the the XDG, um, the next XDG PR, uh, I have to do a final pass through it. But I think that the only remaining question there is if we're happy with the new file location for the for where skills are installed. Um, I thought there was still some. Is that is it still the data directory? Because I'm not a big fan of that. It's the uh, Sorry, say that again. Is it still the data directory? It's the yes, I think so. Okay, because yeah. I think I know there's some discussion at BR about moving it away from the data directory. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah, so I think I think that's the where 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 that is is the is the final question. So I think if um if we're if anyone has opinions about that, 
or is going to care, then um, then we should we should nut that out. Uh, if you don't care, can it doesn't look like you care, so I'm going to assume that we don't need to check in with you again. So, um, all right. And I'm assuming that Michael doesn't care, or Derek. <laughs> cool. Like, I mean, the only thing I care about is I tend to agree with Chris V that it doesn't belong in a data directory. It's kind of weird putting code in a data directory, but other than that, I don't have much of an opinion. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, I don't think I have anything too exciting other than that. Um, no. Uh, Ken, did you want to go? Can everybody hear me okay? All right. Yeah, so I updated the uh, dev team uh, channel with the uh, alarm skill problems. Uh, it appears that the alarm skill that Derek is running, since I was told it was the 2102 branch, is extremely old. All of those bugs were fixed about three months ago. The code's languishing somewhere, and now it needs to be merged because there's been point releases and changes and all sorts of stuff. So I don't want to commit another PR because I don't know why the original one was not merged. And so uh, I can commit the I can commit a PR for what I have, which is far different than what we're currently pulling, and it'll have to be merged. Uh, but there's a lot of work there. There's a lot of stuff pulled out, or just not even put in there. There's heuristics and all sorts of uh, stuff that's just not it's not available. So I don't know what happened to the alarm skill. Um, I don't know why it never got merged, but he's running a very old version and the code I have now will not work. So somebody's got some merge work to do, I assume, if they decide they want to take the new alarm skill. Uh, so do you have the code that you're talking about running on your device at the moment? I do. Can you either put that into a branch or just like send, you send me a zip, zip file, file or something I, yeah i yeah, can cool. send you over a zip file cool 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 all right do that and i'll i'll take a look yeah it's uh you know there's a lot of stuff that changed uh, there was a lot of um files added there was a lot of voked file changes there was a lot of code changes so i will send you a zip file and you can have at it uh after that i spent about half a day doing that the other half a day i was unraveling this mess that is the precise binary because I'm trying to run a version of TensorFlow Lite runtime on the Mark II, and um, that's difficult. I can run the model using the precise binary and the upgraded TensorFlow, but that's not a goal. So anyway, that's what I was working on. So today I was unraveling the alarm skill and unraveling the precise executable stuff. Um, it might be worth like posting something about that in, in the precise channel too, because, you know, um, I don't know if anyone else has worked on that already. They might have some pointers. Uh, you're muted, Ken. You are still muted. Yeah, it looks like uh, the PR was primarily to get TensorFlow, the environment, upgraded to 2.2. Um, somebody gave me a TensorFlow Lite model, um, but I haven't really seen a TensorFlow Lite runner. That's what I was kind of building because the code that they gave me that was on Ovos is using TensorFlow 2.2 to run the TensorFlow Lite model, which kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, I do have a zip file that I will email you, by the way, right now, just so you know. Chris Fair. Um, so I finished going through the everyone, every applicant I could find that has submitted a coding test and I reviewed them and my comments and ratings are in breathing. Um, and I finished work on 
uh, what's going to be a PR, which um, basically, I don't know if anyone else besides me and maybe Gail has seen this, but um, it's okay, committed for BK testing, a criteria matcher or criteria waiter class. Um, well, I extended that um, to um, wait to do some wait for, well, I didn't extend it. I, I, there's three classes now. One is the, the just waiting for events. One waits for dialogues. And the other one is basically what, um, what OK had in, in originally. Um, and this will replace a bunch of the code that is already in that file and some other code that I think is probably redundant with this. Um, so I'll create a PR for that. I can't, I can't run final tests on it because I don't have an internet connection. And because I don't have an internet connection, I'm kind of limited in what I can do. Um, so I may just submit the PR and see if the, you know, see how the tests run in the PR. This was done to fix, um, timer skill, um, expired, uh, timer tests or um, were sporadically failing. Um, okay, submitted, or there's been a PR merge that um, addressed some of the problems, but right now we're getting some um, false positives. They're, they're passing when they shouldn't. Um, there's like, for example, the stop skill only handles four different um, variations of the word stop, but this BK test looks for like eight or 10. So they shouldn't be passing, um, but they are. And this fixes that. And it also, I also put an X fail on the ones that wouldn't pass because they're going to require an update to the stop skill um, for them to work, not to the timer skill. Uh, that all makes sense. So it, it said there's a timer skill PR and a PR to core with some uh, void comp testing tools that kind of go together that um, will paint a truer picture for these timer events and will hopefully provide um, some reusable code that people can use whenever they want to um, test for dialogues or events or anything or criteria or anything like that all in one place. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't this afternoon or tomorrow, my, I'm supposed to get my internet fixed tomorrow afternoon. I will see if I can find some things to do that are acquire my internet. But, um, all probably limited um, for a little while. Are you not able to use your phone to tether? I can tether, which means I can do stuff with people, but, but that doesn't work help my devices. So I can't run tests on my devices because they, they can't they can't connect to my um you're an apple guy aren't you <laughs> sorry um that's why i have my little my no, that's why i keep my MiFi device because this is what i do for a living so if ever i lose my internet i just pop up my uh my lte device and then i can have up 12 devices connect to it so i connect the mark twos to it connect hmm. the laptop and we're good in the tvs and we're good to go yeah, uh, I don't have like one of those. You'll so... be having it fixed pretty soon, right? Like, yeah, they say it should be fixed tomorrow. So yeah, yeah. It's just it's a day, but I'm, I'll just I'll try to find things that don't require me using my devices to do. Hmm. Um, there's always reviewing, reviewing PRs. Yay! Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, Michael, did you have anything? Um. No. And no. we know uh, you're sick, so if you don't want to talk, that is A OK. Yeah. I, I don't have COVID, but Yay. everyone in my house is sick. So there's something going around. My daughter's sick and they're like how all her friends are sick. I don't think it might be some kind of something going around you know. There's lots going around. All right. Um It'll come around. Well then, let's let's leave it there. Um, I'm going to be at PyCon uh, all weekend, um, including today. 
so I'll be getting some stuff done, you know, in in between things. But uh, yeah, 